St. Croix, this is Pastor Matt here at Bethlehem Church. So excited about what God is doing uh, there on the island. I'll tell you what, we've had so much conversation of the good things that uh, is going on and God is doing in and through you. Uh, in fact, I heard Night to Shine was amazing. Uh, it was amazing here as well, but just the community coming together like they did uh, at St. Croix, serving together is really the heart of God. You know, scripture says in Mark 10, 45, uh, Jesus said, for even I, the son of man, did not come to be served, but to serve others. And really when we serve others, that is the heart of God. And so I don't think we are ever any more like Jesus than when we serve others, especially uh, the least of these. Also, you guys get into a brand new building. How cool is that? I mean, it's amazing to see uh, how all that is coming together. The fact that you guys are debt free, congratulations. That is amazing. I'll tell you what, uh, there are no small tasks, there are no small things in the kingdom of God. And so all of you coming together, uh, doing your part to serve uh, that church and that community to make a difference uh, in the name of Jesus is powerful. You know, around that idea we call, when God is moving, oftentimes we call it momentum. And really momentum is just, uh, the way I like to explain it, is it's the favor of God in the spiritual sense. And so one of the things that we say here at Bethlehem Church to our staff is when you have momentum, when you have the favor of God, when you have wind in your sails, if you would, then row too. So when you got wind in your sails, then you row too. You keep working hard because momentum can grow and momentum can slow. And so I say that because it matters it matters that you are serving the kingdom of God. It matters that you are pushing the gas and not the brake. And coming up into Easter, it is our Super Bowl. It matters that you are inviting people. It matters that you are saying and extending an invitation uh, to someone because they're more likely to show up on Easter than any other time. I, I wanna share a quick word with you. Uh, in my time alone with the Lord, and I shared this with our staff as well, God brought me to, uh, to the story of Noah, which is a very familiar story, but I wanna read a passage that, that God gave me fresh insight on. In Genesis chapter six, uh, starting with verse five, we see the wickedness of the people. And it says, now the Lord observed the extent of the people's wickedness. And he saw that all their thoughts, think about this for a second, all their thoughts were consistently and totally evil. So the Lord was sorry he ever made them. It broke his heart. And the Lord said, I will completely, imagine this, I will completely wipe out the human race that I've created. Yes, and I will destroy all the animals and the birds too. I am sorry that I ever made them. Now imagine how dark, how bleak things had gotten in, in humanity. In fact, I think about our own culture that we live in. Oftentimes it feels very dark. It feels very bleak. But, but then everything hinges on this next verse. And it's found in verse eight. And I wanna read it to you. It says, but Noah found favor with the Lord. But Noah found favor with the Lord. You see, Noah was a righteous man. And what did God ask Noah to do? God asked Noah to build an ark. Now, so often, here's what we tend to do, is that we tend to wait on God to move. We tend to wait, God, I'm, I'm praying, I'm waiting. God, send revival to St. Croix, send revival to our church. And so we're just sitting here waiting. But I think God has a word for us, especially through Noah. You see, Noah didn't sit and wait for the rain. Noah grabbed a hammer and he built a boat. So here, here's what the illustration I wanna leave you with. Instead of standing around with an umbrella going, God, send the rain. Maybe what God is calling us to do is to grab a hammer and to get to work. Because when you get to work, that is our responsibility. So we work and God sends the rain. So I wanna encourage you going into Easter is that you pick up a hammer, that you grab an invite, that you invite somebody to be with you on Easter Sunday and you get to work. And then we are gonna trust that God's spirit, that God will bring the rains a revival onto that island. Hey, we love you. Can't wait to see you in person soon one day and know that we are praying for you. God bless.